Ever notice how your cat suddenly appears when you say, treat, but acts like you don't exist when you say, get down? It's not just feline sass. There's real science behind what your cat understands and how they choose to react. Today, we're diving deep into the feline mind to uncover the words your cat actually understands. And more importantly, what their reactions are really telling you. Some of these might surprise you, and number three could completely change how you talk to your cat forever. But before we jump into the words, let's clear up a common myth. Do cats understand words like dogs do? Not exactly. Dogs were bred to work with humans, follow commands, and respond to approval. Cats? They evolved as solitary hunters, fiercely independent, incredibly observant, and not particularly concerned with social obedience. But that doesn't mean they're clueless. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Cats are often misunderstood because they don't react the way dogs do. But behind those slow blinks and flicking tails is a sharp, calculating brain that picks up more than we give them credit for. According to a 2019 study from the University of Tokyo, cats can distinguish specific human words, including their names, even when spoken by strangers. But here's the twist. Cats react only when they want to. They're like that one smart kid in class who could answer every question, but only chimes in when it's worth it. Word number one, their name. Yes, your cat absolutely knows their name. They've just mastered the art of ignoring you when it doesn't serve them. In the Tokyo study, researchers tested how cats responded to their names versus random words. Even when spoken in unfamiliar voices, most cats flicked their ears, turned their heads, or moved their tails in response to their names. So why do they sometimes ignore you? Because unlike dogs, cats don't see their name as a call to action. They see it as information. It's like saying, hey, this is for you. What they choose to do with that info is entirely up to them want to increase the chances they'll respond. Use a high-pitched, friendly tone, the same voice you'd use with a baby. Many cats react better to softer, sweeter sounds and may respond faster if your tone matches the emotion they associate with you. And if you only use their name when you're upset, don't be surprised if they stay out of sight. Word number two, food words. You barely whisper it and they're already in the kitchen. Cats are masters of word association. They may not process language the same way we do, but they learn through repetition and reward. Say treat often enough before giving them a snack, and their brain forms a connection. This word equals something tasty. This kind of learning is called classical conditioning, and it's incredibly effective with cats. They don't need the word to be loud or excited. They'll even recognize it when whispered or said in a flat tone. Some cats even learn the sound of treat bags, cans opening, or certain food containers. You'll know this has happened when your cat races across the house at the faint sound of a cupboard creaking. So yes, food words stick. But it's not just about the word itself. It's about the pattern of experience that follows. Word number three, know and why they ignore it. Here's the big shocker. Cats do understand the word no. They just don't care unless it benefits them to care. Most cat parents think their cats don't know they're doing something wrong, like scratching the couch or hopping on the counter. But cats are incredibly perceptive. They read tone, body language, and facial expressions with amazing accuracy. When you say no, your cat's brain goes through a mini debate. Do I understand the tone? Is this human upset? Do I care right now? Is the fun worth the consequences? Basically, Cats don't follow commands for approval. They make decisions based on what's in it for them. It's not disobedience, it's independent logic. Want your no to work better? Redirect their behavior immediately, like pointing them to a scratching post or tossing a toy, and reward the better choice. Over time, your cat will understand doing this equals good things happen. And here's something fascinating. A 2023 study from the University of Helsinki found that cats who often ignored no actually scored higher on problem-solving tests. These little rebels weren't being difficult. They were thinking things through. Word number four, come here. If you've ever called come here and watched your cat just stare at you from across the room, you're not alone. Cats process commands like come here differently than dogs. 
Dogs are pack animals. They want to please. Cats are solitary. They need a reason to listen. But here's the great news. They can absolutely learn to come when called, as long as you train them the right way. Studies show that cats can respond to come here with up to 80% reliability. But only if the phrase has been positively reinforced. Think about when you usually say, come here. Is it right before a bath? A vet visit? Clipping nails? Now imagine your cat's perspective. That phrase doesn't mean love, it means drama. To change that association, start using come here when good things happen, like before a treat, playtime, or chin scratches. Over time, your cat will anticipate good outcomes and voluntarily respond. Eventually, they'll come running just from hearing the phrase, even if the reward isn't visible yet. That's called anticipatory behavior, and it's a sign of real learning and trust. Word number five, good job. This one is more emotional than you might think. Cats may not wag their tails or jump with joy when you praise them, but don't be fooled, they're paying attention. In fact, many cats value human praise more than food. A 2021 study from Oregon State University found that cats who received consistent verbal praise, like good kitty or good job, formed stronger bonds with their owners. These cats were more affectionate, more confident, and more likely to seek out interaction. But here's where it gets really interesting. Cats can read your emotions through tone, body language, and even facial expressions. When you say good job in that special voice, your cat is absorbing far more than words. They're feeling your emotion. That creates a positive emotional feedback loop. Your cat does something cute. You respond with warm, happy praise. Your cat enjoys the attention and feels safe. They're more likely to repeat the behavior next time. So yes, those sweet little compliments you give your cat. They're not wasted. They're building trust, one soft, good kitty at a time. Do all cats respond the same way? Not at all. Just like people, cats have unique personalities and preferences. One cat might love food words, while another reacts more to tone or rhythm. Some cats even have custom phrases that only mean something to them. Maybe a nickname you always say before playtime or a phrase that signals bedtime. These become emotionally loaded words, deeply tied to shared routines. You can tell when a word has meaning by your cat's body language. Ear flicks, head turns, tail movement, eye dilation, vocal responses. Sometimes your cat's reaction is subtle, a slight pause, a twitch, or a slow blink. But make no mistake, they're listening, processing, and remembering. Cats aren't born knowing human language, but they learn incredibly fast through consistency. Here's how you can build your own vocabulary with your cat. Choose your words carefully. Keep it simple and consistent. Use the same tone each time. Pair words with positive experiences. Treat equals to an actual treat. Come here means something good follows. Avoid using important words during negative experiences. Don't say come before vet visits. Don't say their name only when you're upset. Watch their body language. Tail flicks, ear twitches, or focused looks mean they're listening. Reinforce with praise. Verbal encouragement deepens emotional bonds. Over time, your cat builds a word-emotion connection. And those shared meanings? That's how communication begins to feel like understanding. Cats might not follow commands like dogs, but that doesn't mean they're not listening. In fact, your cat likely understands far more than you think, and they're choosing when and how to respond based on trust, emotion, and experience. So next time your cat hears their name and blinks at you from across the room, perks up at the sound of treat from three doors away, or softly purrs when you say good kitty in that gentle voice, just know they're not ignoring you. They're understanding you in their own quiet way. That's a kind of connection no command could ever match. Drop it in the comments below and let's see just how clever our feline friends really are. And if you want to keep deepening your bond with your cat, hit that like, subscribe, and turn on the bell. We've got more feline wisdom coming your way.